And I kind of grew up on the water, you know, have a, a lot of respect for it. For me, it's like something about living on islands. And in the Bahamas, I lived on an island for two years. We would go out every day and, and fish for our, our meals. <laughs> I went back recently a few years ago to visit the island just to see how things were going. Uh, and I learned about lionfish and the havoc it's wreaking. They're trying to figure out the best way to solve this, this issue. Eating it, I think, would be one of the best ways to resolve this issue. This is Norman's Key. It's a Caribbean-themed restaurant on Orchard Street. We're currently the only restaurant in New York City selling this fish. Restaurants are calling us, leaving messages on our voicemail saying, hey, we hear that you sell live fish. We'd like to get it. Where do you buy it from? And that's what we're trying to focus on really is bringing this fish, shipping it up here and selling it at the restaurant, making sure people are aware of the issue. And also it's quite delicious to eat. We steam it, we fry it, and we grill whole fish. Now we do it in a taco, we do a ceviche and a crudo. So it just depends on how fresh we eat when we get it in. Pretty much any fish dish you would think of, we can do it in. It's a brand new industry. There isn't really an industry yet. There's like a couple restaurants in the Florida Keys that sell lionfish, and there's myself and maybe a few restaurants in the country. You can't go to you know, the local grocery store and buy lionfish. You can't order it from your wholesaler. They don't, they don't have it. They don't carry it. The first few times I would fly down to the Bahamas and I would spear them, go down and, you know, free dive and come up with 30 or 40 in an igloo cooler we'd buy in the Bahamas and we'd check it as luggage on the plane. And we'd walk it through customs and they would look in the cooler and be like, you know, what is that? We're scale fish. What are you going to do with it? Eat it. Go ahead. But that's 40 fish. So there's 40 plates, right? So that's not an efficient way to do it. I got an introduction with Lad with Reef.org, and he holds derbies, lionfish derbies. So I was like, what a great thing if I sponsor some derbies, and then we can work out a deal where we can get the fish. And then it comes back to like how they're getting the fish. There's derbies, they're spearing them. Let's maybe evolve this into trapping. I've been in the Bahamas a lot. I was in six times this year. I go down there for a week at a time, building test traps. I guess you're just kind of experimenting with lights and traps and different bait. Just to see what works. I know a lot of lobster fishermen catch, bycatch, lionfish in their traps down in the Florida Keys. This is a trap I designed. Fish go underneath and they enter from the bottom just like a lionfish would hide underneath a coral reef head. We'll see what we come up with tomorrow. I'm gonna go down there. I grew up in Maine, loved being on the water. Never really snorkeled or, you know, used a spear. And Sam kind of gave me the training or necessary skills, I guess. He, he taught me where to look for certain fish, what reefs to look at, how to find the coral heads on top of the water, and even what time of the day to go out fishing.
caught some fish. <laughs> it just didn't catch any lionfish. It was the first time testing it, so in my eyes it was success. I was worried that fish weren't going to figure out how to get inside of it because they're entering on the bottom of the trap. So I need to figure out now with using bait, and what would that be? Whether it be other live lionfish or what the lionfish feed on. People are intrigued when they, when they see it. They look at this and like, they still look at a picture of it and they're like, wow, what is this fish? It's an aquarium fish. We're eating it, it's strange, right? And now the fish is getting 20 inches long. And I ask locals if they eat lionfish. Like, no, 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 we never eat that. We like grouper, snapper, and conch, and you know, the staples. But I kind of told them like, well, what happens when there's no grouper, snapper, conch, and crawfish, you know, you're gonna be left with this lionfish because right now it's eating everything else and it's not stopping. And I hear they're going in deeper, deeper water, which is gonna be really hard to get them up. part of our ecosystem now, so we need to figure out a way to educate other people that you can eat it. The only way to do that is to create awareness of the issue and make sure people understand what they're doing is a good thing, and also they're eating a fish that's really, really good. It's quite delicious.